Where I'm from, it's Friday, August 7th. And where I live, they call me Flex Luther. Actually, Close my eyes, I don't wanna die. Yeah, yeah. Let my me find my link to my video so I can share it everywhere. Hope I'll yeah. come out on the other side. Hope yeah, let's make it out alive. Close my eyes, I don't want to die. Don't want yeah. to die. Cross my heart, I hope to fly. Hope to fly. Gotta come out on the other side. Hope I make it out alive. I must play my position, but the opposition. If you got competition, I got Scotty Pippins, I got Blake Griffins. If you wanna rise up with them, I know Grave Diggers. If you wanna ride with them, my eyes don't want to die. Cross my heart, I hope to fly. Gotta come out on the other side. Hope I make it out alive. To the biscuit limp, just like Fred Durst. I be rocking with my road dog, like Hunter Hearst. If I hit him on the face, we put his face on the shirt. Cause like, can't be out here taking chances with no ops, but a law, but a rough, but a cop. Ain't taking chances with no ops. Can't be out here taking chances with no ops, but a law, but a rough, but a cop. But a rough, but a cop. Searching for the truth, I feel like going fishing. A lot of missions always end up missing out the television. A lot of folks want to listen, but can't tell the difference. A lot of victims come from cognitive dissonance. Cross my heart, I hope to fly. Gotta come out on the other side. Hope I make it out alive. Gotta survive, gotta spread. If you think you wanna try, I didn't love the nerd more than love the boogie man. You hear me? That one was me in the NFL. This one was me in the NBC. That's all. Word. She wanna fuck with the nerd. She wanna see my tutorial. Got a plan B in her purse. Can I hear this? But she would not call it cause her phone don't do not disturb. She know I'm killing this cash. She wanna see how we play. NBC's a little bit dark. They say the I music's a me. Eyes. Don't hate on me, hate your audience. Hate your I mama. think they sleep on the kids. You can't yeah. bet on the sound. Don't go by them goofies you round. Goofies you really say with your cap and the rap and they just put my dog on the ground. Wow. Black say the mind that I'm stuck in. Yeah, I'm a geek, but I'm thugging. Got us a tell it, fucking nutty. They blew a stack on some plugins. Disconnected, I lock on my oven. I'm with G-Hand and heat to my cousins. If we pull up, it ain't no discussion. I've been doing pull-ups, you get bludgeoned. Chop it up with the grim. Reaper, and my my brother's keeper. That's right, sometimes in life you got Today, to be your mother's teacher. Trained. No, she not gonna hey, like it cause she ready to be NBC better 1, When I was born, you I never should have told me y'all was special you know what Cause that's what I'm telling these hoes Just like $400 to scam it I was lacking her back on my toes I got happy, I didn't used to have it Know the baby gon' hop on my live and Toot it up and run up on subscribers 2020, that's just how we vibing You, you can solution? run up a check on your island I'm smiling, going super fast actually. checking stats I ain't on the pill, but I'm geeking huh. Real <laughs> business man, gotta take a nap Brain tired from the Alright, cool, I'm back in this piece You know what I'm saying, it's Friday we got another production-based video. I knew you guys are happy about that. Some of you want more dailies, but I'm doing this by the daily. You feel me? Today I'm eating walnuts. Pause. Because obviously walnuts look like your pineal gland. And if it looks like the body part, nine times out of ten, it's good for the corresponding body part. Did y'all know that? So if you're having a problem with breathing, you get something, eat something that looks like lungs. You got a problem with your heart, you things that look like a heart. Come on now. Let's talk about it. Mm -mm -mm. But my name is MG the Future. Uh, which one do I need to follow? This one, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't need that much screen no more. So who we got in the building? We got Ayo Kalando, A King, Sirius Dwick, No Rent TV, Justin, A Wild MG has appeared. Oh, you playing Pokemon Go? Dank Briskets in the building, Antonio McKinney, Finger Beats, Ayo Kalando, your timing is impeccable, sir. Going on my lunch break right now. Hey, DJ MVP's in the building. Ernest Taylor said merchandise. Kirkster, greetings. Don Trail, what's good? C Fig, what's good, bro? Loner Beats, I see you. 
C Fig said, I just got my JDI. I had a preamp, it's still. Yeah, your uh your JDI or your uh DI box is to go into a preamp. It takes a it takes one signal and converts it to the other. So if you converted it to mic level, that's why all your stuff has phantom power, because it's not loud enough. You got any education, C Fig? I drew that diagram. I feel like y'all didn't listen to me at all. What's good, Oliver Massey? King Lemuel, what's good, bro? MHBs is on the building. Haru on the track, what's good with you? TB Anderson, I see you. So 100 say you caught it live. King Commit is Zio. Music Rave 1, I see you. Damon, A, hey, Blaze 1 and Chill, A, hey, so 100, ill, ill, hey, what's good? Chill, bong. Sounds lush, fire shirt. Appreciate it. Key flows in the building. This Megan, the Mustang, no rent TV. Uh, I got Cardi B on mine, bro. You better relax. Uh, key flow, walnuts are good for you on Dr. Sabi. On Dr. Sabi and Mama's in them. I made it. What's good? MG and chat. Cash Brown. Mike Tython. Hot dogs. Yeah, hot dogs. Pause. Mars Champion. What's up? UFOs and dragons in the air tonight. Let's talk about it. Food color to match your chakras. Ooh, that too. I eat a lot of almonds. Mm -mm -mm. Your head shaped like an almond? Mm, don't do it. Nah. Almonds, walnuts, and all the other joints. The bitter joints. I was in the mood for a SN and FN stream. Money Mikes, I need you to uh, relax, Money Mikes. YouTube ain't gonna let you type that. I just hopped off my NPC. Too much fun. Mm, let's talk about it. Eat a turkey leg for my legs. That's okay. What's good, Drew? There's a glizzy joke in there somewhere. Let's talk about it. We could be anywhere in the world, but we're here with MG, DJ MVP, and I appreciate it. All of you. XD Abstract. What's good? Replay Retro Dre. D-R-E. No Rent TV. So are beans good for the liver? I think so. Kidney beans, right? What up? What up? No Rent TV. Los B. What's good, MG? I saw you post an NPC gang. Ice Cold Beats. Be, be. People are people are stalking me in these, in these internet streets. What's good with you? Fuck Feast? How did you even get that screen name? They can't even black out your screen name. How did you, how did you get away with that one? Whole lot of ass in the thumbnail, and I'm with it. Badmon, what's good, bro? Can commit. Can we get a beginner rundown into Hardware Chief? Because that outboard channel got any education showing and broke out, which tell me which vid you drew the hardware chart. So what's good, NG and chat? Making beats for the Sabbath. <laughs> Friday. Saba. Saba things. Who were the Sabians? They're mentioned three times in the Quran, right? They're the people of the book, right? If the Sabians are the people of the book, how could they be anything but black? Shaba. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. Y'all gonna get this work one day. Y'all learn how to read these words one day. Anyway, no one cares about me. It's a blessing and a curse. I, I hear that. Big will beats. <laughs> So, my man Don Trail said he needs a hardware chart. But before I go to the hardware chart, I wanted to talk about something that, bro, uh, AA, AAA Bay, AA Bay, Antonio Bay, Anthony Bay, Atkinson Bay, what my Moorish brother was trying to tell me was that he had a problem routing out hardware because a lot of people are talking about buying summing boxes this fall. And I'll be one of those, one of those people. And what you're going to notice... Um, when you're dealing with things like this, um, especially uh, if you have a Focusrite or certain sound cards that share uh, headphones without outboard stuff, you'll notice here on this console, I have my monitor outs. I have line three and four, which goes to my MPC and my hardware chain. Lines five and six, which goes to my SP and my uh, guitar strip. Seven and eight, I can route to anything. I just don't have nothing else. It would be my sample track, though. And nine and ten, the same. What bro was saying is because these are also your headphone outs in the front of your sound card, it's fucking him up because he wants to listen to one and two or the main DAW through um, his headphones, one of them at least. But here's one thing to know. They didn't make these sound cards for summing boxes, guys. So what happens is in an ideal situation, you plug all three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to four buses, four outs, four pairs, going into a four in summing box and you won't be monitoring from your sound card anymore. You will not be plugging your headphones directly into the front panel of your sound card no more because the device ideally has a monitor, a headphone amp se section, a monitoring section. So it ends up really happening in real life. You end up taking one of these outputs, say monitor one and two, you put that into your D box or whatever, SSL X desk, and then you use its headphone amps to monitor everything. Seven and eight is gonna get sacrificed. Unless, part two, you add an ADAT to this bitch. And then with the ADAT, you get eight additional outputs on most devices. They're like $300. So 
So they look like your sound card, but they're not a sound card. Do not go on Reverb and eBay trying to buy a Focusrite Claret or something that's a ADAT extension and not the sound card. You will be disappointed. It's just a microphone preamp type of thing. But you add those to ADAT to your main sound card, and then this way, when it's time to do shit, you're not routing line puts your headphone outputs to goddamn um, a summing box. You're using this for other shit that you can, like another external mixer or another uh, a device like a headphone amp. You would use your headphones to route to so a headphone amp if you're working with a band. Um, just all kinds of shit that can record stuff. And what's cool about it, once you understand your DSP software, anything can come through line put seven and eight. And that's what I was trying to tell the brother. Like seven and eight isn't just the headphone mix. The headphone mix is whatever the fuck you want it to be. And I give you an example of that. If I can play one of these beats, hopefully we don't hear anything and I'll show you how this shit works. This is for my people with the focus right shit. Anyway, so I got a beat loaded. The beat's playing. We shouldn't hear anything. But that's where the signal's coming through, right? The signal is coming from my MPC is going through three and four. So I can monitor three and four anywhere. For instance, I can monitor three and four in these headphones. You guys don't hear it, but I do, because it's coming through my headphone joint. And it shows you it's going through my headphones. Or I can go to nine and 10. I can monitor it through those headphones. Guess what? Ain't shit plugged into those. But actually, no, I'm lying. This is plugged into those. So we can turn this on and turn it up. So, you're not limited on what signals go through nine and 10 or seven and eight. One and two could go through seven, eight. One and two could go through nine and 10. In fact, the whole shit could go through those headphones. Most people though, in, a, in, a, in an average situation though, are only using playback one and two on everything. And that's why it doesn't work for y'all niggas. Cause with, <laughs> cause what your sound card is doing, like my three and four is dedicated to software playback line out it's three to four, three to four. It's a one-to-one -one ratio going on here. It's a one-to-one -one ratio going here. When you go here, you get options, and that's what those people off. So what would you do for seven and eight? You would make it so that it's only monitoring seven and goddamn eight. What happens when you get to nine and 10? You add another one for goddamn uh, analog. Oh, they don't even go up to nine and 10. Goddamn. So you would have to use a different um, internal routing for that. That's it. It'll be your headphones still, but you can route to it. What I'm talking about though, is these ADAT, and that's why we have the body expanders, and it's trash. <sighs> Only for summing though. You don't have to do that unless you're talking about getting a summing mixer, and that's why we need the goddamn chart. But y'all should hear this beat though. What are we talking about, hold on. Don't freeze on me, bitch. Okay, hold on, let me open up Ableton Live and show you one more time. And I think this is the thing that my, my brother is running into. We gotta figure out how to access that. So first things first, my MPC is plugged into three, point, three and four of my sound card. So I'm in a audio track, any dog, doesn't matter. External input from where? Three and goddamn four. Now y'all hear it. Y'all hear it. Because I have a little magic trick on my computer that allows me to take my, uh, my DAW output and any sound that I route to it, route it to OBS. And that's where a lot of people who wanna stream videos don't know how to do. I tell you this, it's harder than you setting up the goddamn focus right control. <laughs> now, the other trick, the other brothers have a problem. It's like, yo, how do I set all this shit up? You know, I got my NPCs on three and four and my SP404, I'm gonna show you this, is on five and six, right? That's my SP404. So that's three, four, five, and six. But what happens if I want to take the signal from three and four and send it to my SP404? Like, you know, like a digital patch bay. Well, we turn that off, so we're not listening to it no more. And that's why they make these plugins like audio effect. By damn, external effect, not audio effect. I do that every time. I got any education when it comes to this. Come on, dog. Yo, external audio effect, bong. It's called external. And what happens on external audio effect? It asks you right off rip, where do you want to send the audio to, fam? And you pick your outputs. I want to send mine to three and four. Where do you want the audio to come back from, fam? Well, it's going, I'm sorry, hold on, hold on. I did that wrong. 
Where do you want to send it to? I want to send it to my SP404, which is on 5 and 6. Where do you want to listen to it from? Where do you want it to come from? Well, SP404, which is also 5 and 6. Now, even if that channel's not on, you hear my 5 and 6, because it's my SP404. So it ignores the master, the two master. It bypasses that, sends it to this first, which is going through 5 and 6, and now you hear my SP404. Here's the thing. If I press play on my NPC, you don't hear it no more because the audio from the NPC is now being sent to the SP404 and it, you can't hear it on the SP404 until you tell the SP404 to listen to it. And that's what the external source is for. God damn. So now I hear a signal from three and four, line three and four, through my computer and interface, being routed through my computer interface to five and six. Now we do all the SP404 shit. Now somewhere, my gain stage is fucked up. You can see it, actually. You... Whoa. Wow, Ableton is controlling my NPC. That, what, what, a, what a glorious day that is. I, I, I'm still shocked that I got that shit to work. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's another day. That's another lesson. That's an advanced postgraduate course. Anyway, so uh, we sent the audio through, blah, blah, blah. We got a game stage. Now, this is going red. This is peaking red. This is the hardest thing to configure because ideally, you want the signal that's going through here to match on the way back in. And that's why there's gain on each one. Either you could cut the gain so it isn't going through the, 50, the uh, SP404 so hot, or you could cut the gain back in so it's not so hot coming back in and distorting. But the distortion comes from something being clipped. Nine times out of 10, I'm distorting because the signal is leaving too hot out of the NPC going into the SP404. So I just use my physical volume on the NPC for that. So it's playing on the NPC. I'm gonna turn it up slightly. We are starting to get a signal here. Doesn't fucking Ableton Live have like a, a visualizer? I got Max for Live too. I hate that I don't know. Isn't there like a, a you know what I'm talking about. A thing, a spectral, Spectrograph, spectrogram, spectrum. I need the all-in-one joint. Uh, vet, uh, VF, VFX, the people who make uh, Nexus in them, they have a really good one. And it's only free if you own something on an iLock or something. It's the dumbest shit ever. I've never heard of that. That's not what I need either. I need meters, bro. I need, like, just plain old goddamn meters so we can see the signal as it gets louder. Whatever, bro. It It's... We'll use our imagination on this shit, bro. Let's turn this up. God damn it. So we getting up there. The problem you run into when you're working with hardware, though, you're going to have two, you're going to have like two, three, four volume faders. NPC volume, SP404 volume. I don't want this shit to go over and over to love. Period. And it's going through my preamp. My preamp has lights on it. You might not be able to see that. Let's get that. There you go. Now you see the preamp has lights on it. That is driven by the NPC's volume. So let's so forget Ableton for a minute. That's being driven by the NPC. So if I crank it, you see it's too loud. It's in the red. So I gotta bring this down on my NPC first. So it's not in the yellow or, or red. That's decent. You know what I'm saying? It's all green. And just a little touch, it just jumps. So now it's mainly green, dynamic-wise, and it jumps into red. So I just need to touch it down. Just one more touch. So it jumps to yellow on when the, the kick overlaps with the bass. And that's what compression is for, usually. But it's not going red. So it's going to be hot. It's going to hit the Zulu hot, which doesn't have a volume or pre-gain or post-gain makeup. So I'm counting on this level to match this level. Now I need it to sound like it fucking does in the damn DAW. So, is distorted as a bitch. The bass, that is. But nothing's speaking yet. So that means my signal going through, my SP is causing the drum. So I turn that bitch off. And the idea is to get it back up without crank cranking. This is cranking, NPC is cranking, the crank this is cranking. Now I'm sending it to additional signal 
You can see it cranking right here. Matter of fact, we can look at that. There we go. There go our goddamn meters. That's the NPC Zulu thing direct. Mainly yellow. Now I need five and six to kind of match that. Can I do it? God damn it. Me a valuable lesson. My MPC, my Zulu, my preamp can handle the bass and deliver it clear at that low frequency, that low register, that sub harmonics. The SP404 obviously can't handle the sub harmonics. So that's why when most people get this volume thing situated, they let it go, make a template, and they mix into it. That's what they mean by mixing into it. So you don't have to reset this up every time you turn shit on. That, you fucking tape that damn SP404 knob where it is. You don't touch your MPC knob. Find a cool preamp setting for the Zulu and just leave that bitch alone. So every time you turn shit on or open up a template, it is where it is. It is what it is, where it needs to be. Um, and then now I know when I'm if I'm mixing through it, not to turn my bass up. Because in the MPC I can. On the SP404, obviously I can't. And you'll notice that with the samples on the SP, on the um SP anyway. This is a kick. And it's goddamn wimpy. And that's fine. Because that's not the magic in this bitch. See now my beats on my SP are too low at this volume, but it's too loud through the S through the MPC. Two different experiences. This bitch is cracking and this shit is like, no. So that's the difference between the two, um, the level line level, RCA level and all that bullshit. Also I have a DI box. So let's hit my DI box before it goes to my SP404. I know that can't handle it. So what I technically need to do is put this, my SP404 on the uh, DI box too. What a day. One, one of these days, not today, one of these goddamn days, I'm not, mm -mm. All right, cool. Fairly matching. There's some clipping happening here, obviously on that left channel. There's more even coming out of SP404, I guess that's good news. Or maybe Zulu did that post, nah. This is, this is, this is what Zulu and everything. The SP404 is flattening it. And because it's flattening it, it's acting like a limiter. Be careful. Bitch, I don't even hear it. What are we talking about? How did I, how did I, how did I break that? I broke something. Okay, there we go. Check this out, too. When I start using certain effects on my SP, you notice that uh, it started peaking. So that effect, I, t I dropped the highs and the lows were up and the lows caused it to peak. So I need a goddamn limiter on this bitch. But if in order to not worry about that when you're recording your signal, just turn your game down. Um, most people be like, negative nine, goddamn. It's still blowing up. The This is peaking, the SP is peaking red. But when it comes in, you record it, it's not. Ideally, you don't want this bitch peeking right at all. God damn it, you don't mess up my even pretty levels, bro. Okay. Oh, that's oopity stupid, bro. I really can't do that. Oh, Unity head ass. All right, we're, we're, we're gonna reverse the logic on that one. Since I can't, since this being at a lower volume, is that 12 o'clock on SP404? Since that shit's still red, if I crank it a little bit just by switching to those effects that change the harmonics, instead of turning it down, and I, I wanna make up that level, I'll make it up with the game. Post, post SP404 game. So this is negative 12, right? Turn it off. This is negative six. That's directly from my preamp and MPC, negative six. 
Through the SP404, we lost about six decibels, so we'll gain this six. It's actually so high, right? So maybe nine got down? Some of the nine. So bypass it. That's how it sounds without the SP. That's how it sounds with the SP. You notice how the SP made it more narrow? Keep in with that, my damn spacebar. What's happening in this particular example is the, the Zulu and the preamp makes everything wide. It's like a wide stereo image. You hear how like the piano's like da -dung -da -dung -da -dung -da -dung on the far left? That's what most hardware does, because it's called dual mono. It's what is what Pro Tools does. Also has their two leaves. So I find that in most cases, I forget to do it, but when I'm cognizant of it, I need to put a stereo imager after my hardware chain because it's too wide and it's not a bad thing but you're not used to hearing it like that until you get hardware then you hear it all the time because sp404 is a rca whatever the fuck um it can it does the opposite it actually it can make things too narrow for you or it can make it uh more concentrated in the center i don't know is this your turntables don't though that's the fuck i don't understand whatever it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what matters is just be aware of those differences. And that's why you want to game match them. That's why when this doesn't have it on, it has negative six. And when this is on, you want it around the same. So you can hear exactly what all these goofy effects are doing. Like low -fi. Like that. Like the filter. Not the story nowhere though. There's no goddamn red nowhere. Even fully distorted, it's not going right. Why did I do that? Oh, it's resonance. Resonance is like an EQ bump. Fucking bitch. Uh, come on. Let me be great. So, do I need to turn this down a little bit more? So, I still haven't found a goddamn sweet spot. Because if, if you are like a DJ and you're using a filter sweep, so shit, the shit just. It's just fucking. It, you can't even do a 12% a filter sweep on this bitch, bro. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, got down. Oh, Black Betty, Bam Lamb. Look, look at this dumb shit. I'll turn it up just a little bit. Red. It's not even all the way up, bro.
So far, so good. Does that, does that shit make sense? Does money my business count? Yeah, y'all need to read. Y'all need to rise. He said people out here going to jail for fraud. Whoa. Get the NPC back in view. Hey, baby. I like it. I like it. Like that. Today's cook up is sponsored by water because you should be drinking it. Anyway. How do I? I. I need to switch back to my kit lens. That's what I should do because that bitch got a zoom on it. But this one looks better. This is a better looking lens, but the zoom, I need the zoom. I might switch back to a kit lens. I like it like that. I like it like Okay. Them niggas in ATL is going crazy with the loans. Hardware gang gang. Francis. Whoa, whoa, SP404. Goddamn relax. Alright, that's that, man. I don't qualify for a stimulus. I hate y'all niggas. Says the guy who doesn't qualify for a stimulus. There will be another stimulus and will be applying for that too. Form LLC, step one. I'm selling how not to be a pussy courses. Told y'all about LLCs. Y'all scared to pay $150 a year to your best life. MG needs an analog console. No, I don't. I don't mix records. Let's talk about it. Bum, 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 bum. Ableton has grown on you. You can do the same thing as Studio One and everything else. You can even do this in FL Studio. What's good, Tanisha619? Hey. Speaking of the devil, Fruity Loops, that is. The brother Fiori, um, he was having the same problem because he was trying to figure out why is it, why do I hear my SP404 when I send audio to my SP404? Because you did it wrong. That's the only answer is you did it wrong. I want to show you one time. This is the video that everyone hasn't done. Or if they do do it, they can't do it because they don't have hardware to do it. But a lot of people got NA education. And I better not see this video anywhere fucking else, bro. Um, no. Okay. So let's do something simple. Let's do a simple drum thing. Bing. Why does DJ Cast still use the Dr. Dre kit? Okay. That's what we got. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. We got to speed that up a little bit. Let's do it like that. I got now. Let me get that snare popping. I bet this man ain't got a Dr. Dre snare. I knew it. That's the closest thing we get. Yeah, I damn. Them stiff ass Fruity Loop swing, bro. But anyway, we're gonna send all this to channel one. All the drums, right? So, so what's so what's the fruity logic on how to get this to go to our outboard gear? Does anyone know? Does anyone know if this is going to channel one, and then channel one is going to the master? I seen at the bottom here. That's the first thing you need to understand about fruity loops. It. It's a routing mixer for real because I had to create these four sins or these five sins myself, as you see right here. And you could create more. So on channel one, where that drum loop is, I'm going to create a send real quick. I'm going to go from here. And I'm going to say uh, route to this track. And you see what happens? It doubled it. That's when they. That's where the whole principle of uh, parallel anything comes from. So if you wanted to parallel compress that, because I sent, ah, come on, dog. Sent, because I sent track one, let me color this. That's what's fucking me up. Let's talk about it. Fuck out of here. And let's color this one too. So green, yellow, Sprite, I. Right. It's got a twist with a llama twist. No, it says it's got a kiss with a llama twist. That's how I kick it. Yeah, that was a crisscross. Anyway, so number two, yellow. I want to compress it. Yeah, I don't have a compressor. Son of a bitch. That is called side chain compression because I took the side chain and I compressed it. Get it? Now you mix it back into it. And so you get the level that you want. Doing this increases the RMS. The peak is the same, but the RMS changes. How 
intense or how much pressure is coming through those frequencies. That's how you do that in Fruity Loops. You take the channel you're on and right click a channel you want to send it to, or in Fruity Loops, if you're busing signals, which would be a little bit different. So let's turn these off so we don't get confused. I have three tracks, right? I want to route them to these three tracks. So we have three separate tracks. That's the basis. But let's say I want all of them to go to the same bus, i.e. A, a drum bus. Same shit. Hold command. Click on that. Now what it did was it took all those tracks and took it off the master and routed it to something they call, if you right click on it, it'll say to this track only. So when you do to this track only, what you have done is created a bus. And some people will call that what? A drum bus, because why? Drums went to that bus. So what will happen is to know that it worked, you mute it, you shouldn't hear nothing. Irregardless of these tracks playing, they're not sent to the master. Now, if I sent them to the master, you'll hear it. But the problem is when you turn this back on, the kick is really loud because the kick is going to the master and it's going to the bus. So you have to make sure that's not sending a signal to the master. See? Not to the master is low, the kick. To the master is really loud. Why? Because it's also going what? That's parallel. It's going to the master and it's going to a bus. Now it's a parallel signal. Hence, if you want your beats louder, create a fucking parallel signal, guys. Come on. Come on. Y'all weren't in gear sluts in 2008 and it shows. Anyway, that's the bus. Now, so we did a send, we did a parallel, because a send and a parallel is the same shit. Technically speaking, let, let's deal with this. Uh, let's deal with this. This I have set up to send to these tracks. Actually, what happened is when I did send all here, it took off the sends. So I, started, I got to turn the sends back on. I'm going to send it to a plate. All I had to do is click in. This, these are inputs. I can send it to all my effects now. And this state, everything is turned down. So even though you do send it parallel, you got to make sure there's signal there. Now it's going to my reverb. That's a parallel process because the reverb is on a parallel channel. The difference is a lot of people call them sends because multiple tracks can be sent to them where you might not send a whole bunch of tracks to your bus, only drums, right? But you might send everything to your plate verb and that's in the drum kit or room verb. So you can turn it down how much you want it. You can do the same thing when you mix in parallel too, by the way. Like if you do parallel compression, you can send just a little bit of the hi-hats there, etc. Okay, cool. So you guys get how all that shit works. This is the basis that most people do. But you're gonna notice a problem. Now that I have my plate reverb for my drums separate going to the master, now I fucked up my bus because now my reverb is gonna be outside of my bus. So my bus is not controlling the volume of that reverb. So if I turn this down, the reverb doesn't get turned down. So now I gotta go to my goddamn room plate verb and that's why people end up having too many fucking reverbs in their project, because now you need a reverb just for drums. Why? Because I need to take it off the master and send it to the bus. If you can. I don't even think you can fucking do that in free loops. That's, the, that's, the, that's what this NA education shit's about, really. Hold on. Yeah, that's one of the things I don't like when you create these sins. They don't allow you to bust them. That's why niggas use Pro Tools. <laughs> you can turn it down, but that's stupid. You want all your effects printed, because if I put fucking Zulu on my drum bus... The reverb ain't going through Zulu, so I have these these crispy ass drums and this weak ass digital reverb. So people will print their stems and print their effects and then process them separate. Um, other DAWs don't care; they'll let you route your sins to a bus. Why doesn't FL let you route your sins to a bus though? Hold on, bro. Hold on, I'm doing something. Wrong. I got any education. Hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Fuck this shit, bro. We don't need that. Hold on. Let me try it this way. Let me try to take you, right click on you, and route to this track. All right, cool. Now I got two of these bitches. They're parallel. And this one's going to the master. No bitch, I want you to go to the goddamn bus. All right. Because there's two of them going to my bus, is spiking it. So I'm going to call this drum reverb. It's just a parallel signal, just like on any other thing bitch and now I can turn down how much I got sending there right 
And then the common sense thing is to what? We just need a reverb on that bitch. It don't even matter what kind of reverb it is. All right. We can hear it. So when I mute my bus, the reverb stops too. And when people used to automate shit, like when you're doing an arrangement, you notice how like sometimes if you automate something, there's still that tail on your delays and reverbs. Well, when your effects are on a bus and you do a VCA fader or do a bus fade, all your effects stop. That effect is very pronounced when Mike Dean mixes or if you listen to Cold Summer or whatever the fuck that was with Big Sean, Kanye, and 2 Chains, that album, listen to their hooks at the very end of the hook. At the le- at the end of the eight bars of the hook, you're going to notice all their additional reverbs and throw delays on the vocals stop. Like, it's almost, like, annoying. But but it's because their effects are sent to a, a bus fader or to the, you know, the automation fader. So, yeah, that's how that fucking works. And we can move our tracks left and right if we need to. You feel me? You feel me? Got down. And then we do rename and recolor this bitch. Light purple. So the drums look like the drum bus. Let's talk about it. Boom. Now I can send everything. I can um, route to this track. Not only though, I'm routing it additionally and I'm going to turn it down. So my reverb can be more in the snare if I want. And the kick, I can route to it too. Not only, but to this track. And I turn it down a little bit. There's a flavor of love for everybody. If I don't want that reverb effect, I can mute the reverb send. And you notice you lose level? Why? Because it's parallel. So far, so good. We're flowing straight through the survival scrolls. Now what? Now I want to put that whole f- texture, the reverb, the drums included, through my goddamn hardware. How do I do that? I need to send bus, instead of bus down here going to channel one and two, I need bus to go to channel three and four. Boom, right hand side of free loops. What does this say? Output one and two, three and four, five and six, let's send it to what? Output three and four. What happens when I send it to output three and four? You still hear it. You know what the problem is? And this is probably what Fiori and them are running into. I sent it to three and four, but guess what? This channel is still goddamn going to the master channel. Parallel. So it sent the audio being processed through these effects through three and four, and it's still mirroring that signal to one and two. Turn it off. Now I don't hear a goddamn thing. That's where you start with it. If you route something using these, you're not supposed to hear it. That's expected behavior. Turn it off your master. We're gonna set up a new thing in the NPC real quick. Um, can y'all see the NPC? Y'all should be able to see the NPC. I don't know if y'all can see the goddamn NPC. Y'all not going to see it fairly clearly, but just follow the lead of my voice. We're going to go to audio track. Audio track on the NPC is useless. We're going to click input configuration. Input configuration just says you can, um, the NPC has two pairs of inputs. Uh, input one and two, which is what coming from my sound card. And uh, input three and four, which I think is got down. It's input three and four, which is line. It's input... I'm sorry, input one and two from my sound card is line level. Input three and four is RCA level. So when I turn on my turntable and I get my firm in for it, I'll plug my turntable directly into the MP right here. You can't see that, but there's RCA ends. Set this to three and four, and then I'll be able to hear my turntable through my MPC and then record it into my computer or into the MPC or into the SP404, however I want to do it, because I'm just telling it where's audio coming from. And by default, Audio is coming from one and two. By default, audio goes out of one and two. One and two out is the monitor out, which goes back into my goddamn sound card. What's confusing is that NPCs one and two is my sound cards three and four. So in my mind, I go, fuck the numbers on the NPC. Just know that one and two is coming from the computer. One and two is going to the computer. And then within Fruity Loops, once I monitor the signal, bitch, stop playing with me, bro. Don't play with me like that. I should see... uh, uh, this should start turning green. If the damn play button worked. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is turning green. There's some jumping going on here. That means my MPC has correctly listened to channel three and four in the FL mixer, and it's going through. So you know it works. As long as you see feedback here or an SP or wherever you're routing it to, when you hit external source on your SP, you'll hear it. Turn the shit up. If you don't hear it in your computer, which you do until you get used to this, 
plug your headphones directly into the goddamn MPC or SP404. Because as long as you plug your headphones directly into the device receiving the signal and you hear it, you know it's not because you routed it wrong or it's not fucked up leaving your computer. It got to your damn device. Plug your headphones directly into your SP404 and you'll hear it. Plug your headphones into your MPC right now. You'll hear it. Now, I need my computer to hear it again. Or not just my computer. Specifically, I need Fruity Loops to hear it. Because that's where you're going to record it and dub it to Edison. So my bus is going to three and four. Well, let's create a new track. That's called MP or tape. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Bus hardware tape, because that's what we're doing right now. And we'll make it peach or some shit like that. And you would think logically. Oh, I didn't ask you to send shit, bro. I just unmuted your ass. What are you doing? Why do I, I shouldn't hear that? The fuck are you routing it to? Oh, I'm not hearing that, bro. I'm smoking mids. Why do I hear that? Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm now I'm smoking mids. My headphone mix. Hold on. Play, whoa. Play. Play. I see three and four everywhere. Three and four is everywhere. Playback three and four is muted though. Nah, that bitch is routing in FL Studio. Why are you routing in FL Studio? All I did was hit right click, bro. Son of a bitch. No, seriously, where's that going? Oh, my dumb ass already has it set up. That's me, bro. I'm on mids, bro. I didn't set that up, though. This is my template. My template looks like this. We're, we're hearing it right. That was that was correct. But I didn't send it to that. Oh, that's, that's correct. You don't have to send it. That was my point, though. Hold on, rewind. Just forget that last 30 seconds happened because I forgot I'm in a template. Anyway. So the signal is going to three and four to this bus and everything set up. Everything we did before this is right. I, it's just, I have a track that already fixed it. This is what it should be happening until you fix it. So make sure bus being sent to your output to whatever device is not also being sent to your master track, right? Turn that shit off. You shouldn't hear it. Go into your device, plug your headphones in. See if you hear it. If you hear it and figure out how to configure it so you can hear it from external sources, you're fine. Now you need the, that signal going through hardware to do what hardware does. So you create another track, bus tape. We colored this shit peach, it came out gold. Come on, Fruity Loops, we, we, need, we need better solutions. The fuck's going on here? That's still not peach, whatever. Now that I know this bus tape, what happens? I need to get the signal into Fruity Loops from where? Three and four. Hence, input three and four. So what I'm hearing now is the MPC. So what you do is to make sure that's true, turn your shit off, make sure FL's not playing, go to somewhere in your MPC that has sounds, and it should come up in Fruity Loops. This way you know Fruity Loops is listening to the output. That shit's fly. Let's talk about it. That nigga nice on the MPC, bro. Y'all better stop fucking sleeping on me, bro. Let's talk about it. I did all those in an hour. Let's talk about it. Anyway, so that's my drums through reverb, through the NPC, back into Fruity Loops. Now I can go into Zulu and do whatever I want. We hear the Zulu in real time now. Unlike Ableton, this is actually too low. You see how much lower it is? I'll make sure my LEDs aren't red though. There we go. Let's set it up for cassette. More headroom. Now the volume came back. Now, Fruity Loops still has tiny drums, but they're analog tiny drums. And what I have to do is record that. So we open up an Edison or whatever. 
God damn it, bro. I'm always changing shit. I be confusing myself. I am my problem. We hit on play. We hit record. Now, because it's going through your outboard gear and it's coming back in, you're going to have something called latency. So it's not going to line up with your project no more. So keep that in mind. When you're working with hardware in any of these DAWs that don't have a hardware delay compensation, because a lot of people think the plug-in delay compensation is what's working on hardware. They're not the same. Don't let anyone fool you otherwise. Automatic delay compensation is talking about the latency that plugins add. And in the last five years, our DAWs have addressed that and done a decent job fixing it. Because you'll notice sometimes if you're mixing rap, like vocals or something, you put a bunch of CLAs and shit on it. Well, Mike Dean says you need to stop fucking using CLAs. But anyway, there's, you'll notice that your vocals aren't in pocket no more. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? And you think the rapper fucked up or you think the timing's fucked up. Or if you're recording and you're using in-the-box plugins through your microphone and you got like auto-tune and stuff pre-set up, they never line up on beat. That's because the plugin is doing that. And so it's causing an ear trick to the person in the headphones trying to rap with the beat because they hear their voice delayed and it's playing an ear trip on you, the mix engineer, because you're watching the waveform, but it doesn't sound like it's right. That is the number one reason most people who record still use hardware. Because why the fuck am I going to add five seconds of latency creating a, a, a five to eight slot chain for vocals just so that I have to spend two extra hours making sure the artist gets it, I get it, the delay is right. You know, people get the Apollos and stuff for that because the Apollos allegedly allow you to insert effects through their DSP, subtracting the latency before it gets to your DAW. But it still has to process that stuff and kick it back to the headphones. So there's still like a delay. So most people say, fuck all that. I'm buying me a mic preamp, an EQ and a compressor. Make sure I have perfect vocals that I can hear in real time because why? We're using electricity. What is electricity? The speed of light. Therefore, you don't have to worry about a delay. Through that speed of light processing until you get like even tides and digital DSP shit, you don't have to worry about it being a, a noticeable artifact of audio. That's why people buy the hardware auto-tune. That's why people buy the hardware everything. Matter of fact, the boys that mix EDM, they're so nasty with it. They have a whole different computer for recording. So what I mean is they'll process all the stuff like I'm doing. And instead of sending input three and four back to the same computer, they'll record input three and four on a different computer because that's how much this latency bullshit is annoying. They have a whole different computer to record their shit. They'll, they'll sum on their desk and pick it up on a different system. That's how, that's how shitty latency is. But anyway, neither here or there. Just keep that in mind. This is not gonna be perfect on the downbeat. So what that means is you're gonna to have to learn how to use an audio editor. For me, it's second nature because I started Beats with Cool Edit Pro and FL Studio, so I was editing audio to chop samples my whole life, like looping and zero crossing and lining shit up. I've been doing it since day one. If you're getting hardware, welcome to day one. Cool, and you'll notice it right away. This is set up to record perfect patterns, two bars, one bar at a time. This is pattern one, way off. Now watch what happens when you go to pattern two, way off. Watch what happens when you go further into the mix, way off. So there's a fixed amount of delay at the end here. In a ideal society, you should be able to uh, highlight this, God damn it. And understand what this number is. I, I don't know if I can enlarge that for you, but the number I think is 54 milliseconds. In the ideal society, you should be able to tell FL Studio prior to Edison to uh, go negative 54 milliseconds. I think, I think that's how that works. I think that's what's happening in these streets. I think I, I I could do it. In, I got to set up an Ableton, but in Fruity Loops, I, I don't know if it's this one or the one at the bottom. We're going to fucking find out. And I don't know if it's negative 54 or positive 54. So you got to fucking try it out. You just got to keep fucking with this until you get that delay gone. That obviously didn't do goddamn shit to what the fuck I said. What are we talking about? That was set in milliseconds, right? Hold on, Edison. Edison lying to me. That's what the fuck that's about. All right. So we're going to click right here. The length. Pause, that's what she said. The length of this, the length is, is zero to 161. I'm reading it wrong. No, it's right. 
It's 161 in all. So is that positive or negative? Oh, fuck, bro. Hold on. I, this this is shit. This is this why I didn't didn't do too. That's why I didn't try to get calculus too when I went to school. Cause this shit right here. So it's 161 in what? In milliseconds. Yeah. So we're gonna set our timer in milliseconds. I'm gonna try it 161 positive this time and see if that number changes again. If that number changes again. I'm fucking somebody up, bro. I'm not doing this shit all day. It's better things to do. Anyway, so we're gonna hit record again. And not a goddamn thing changed, bro. The fuck it? What is what is that? Fruity Loops. Why, why is that there? Is this like their quantize where the quantize and swing doesn't work, but it should? In an ideal society, that should work. But the number changed. Hold on. It went to 214. So I increased the number. It went from negative to positive and it added more. It went to 214. The fuck is going on in these streets, bro? Goddamn. Um, I don't know the difference. I added... 161 and got 216. So it should have been negative fucking 60 something, right? Like that's how the fuck that works, right? It should have just been negative whatever the fuck it was. Hold on. One more time. One more one more time in these streets, bro. I, I'm not liking this. This is annoying. And milliseconds don't even look like it's enough to fix that either, by the way. By the way, it doesn't look like that's enough to fix that problem. But you'll spend the most of your Friday night figuring out what that sweet spot is. Yeah, stop playing it. Come on, dog. All right, so I took that buffer away. It's back to 50 fucking four, bro. Stop playing with me. You're playing with my emotions now for the loops. All right, so we're back down to 54, got down. All right, so this number is changing it. I'm gonna try this shit one more time. Negative goddamn 54, bro. Like, stop playing with me, bro. That's on set. That's on everything, bro. Oh my God. What are we talking about now? Talk to me. It's back to 161. So negative increased it. And what the fuck are you doing, bro? What is this shit? That's what I'm saying, bro. In an ideal society, it was fucking, we don't live in an ideal society. And that's why people be like, why do you use so many different dolls? You fucking get it? Do you fucking get it? You want to do one simple thing. Process your cool little drum loop through your hardware. And your favorite doll goes, I don't know how to compensate for that. And we're going to give you some fucking remedial tools that don't work. Nothing is working. What are we talking about, bro? You see this shit? It added it to it still. Now it's 107. I go positive, it adds to it. I go negative, it adds to it. I don't know, chief. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm spent. This, this, is, this is trash. That's 54, though. So 54 doubled it. At least we know that. Reset this dumb shit. How about out to this? Let's, let's, let's piss myself off a little bit more. Compensate the master tempo latency. Bullshit. That's not what's happening in these streets. I don't even get that option here, fam. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I don't even get that number here. Let's try it here, though. I don't think because it's post-Edison. I don't know if that's going to work because it's post-Edison down here. That was the other thing I was saying about. I don't know if it's the top or the bottom, but when we were just at the top, it was adding it instead of subtracting it. Oh, goddamn. Now it's 106. Help me. Help me. God damn, bro. Like it's it's right there. It's moving, but it ain't none of it's like the math is like, eh. See, you need to you need the fucking Pythagorean. Oh shit. We're getting close now in this motherfucker. I see it now, boy. That's short. That's short. That's short short. That's 54 now. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? That was the original fucking value. Alright, so that's 54, right? All right, so 50 plus 54 is a negative 104, right? Am I bugging? Am I doing my maths? That's 104, right? Like, there shouldn't be no fucking shit. That shit should be right fucking there, bro. I'm playing with these niggas, man. Come on, dog. Like, you know how many fucking tight beats I would have finished already if this shit just... Goddamn. Are you serious? Are you fucking... You're fucking blowing me, bro. Pause. It's still 54. How is it still 54? I changed the number completely. I completely changed this shit. And it's the same fucking number. 54. Fuck. We're going to do them both, bro. That's the type of time I'm on. Let's add 54. God damn it. Fucking bitch. One more time. Boom. For the culture. Boom. Boom. Not a goddamn thing changed. What the fuck are we talking about? 54 is perfectly 54. You should be able to take that number, plug it into the delay compensation, and get a fucking different result. 
But Fruity Loops goes, nah, we're going to do 104 and it's not going to work. Okay. With that being said, let's try this. Let's try negative 54 on output. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what, let's see, let's see if the, if I'm getting lucky, if I'm getting hotter or colder in this bitch, I feel like I'm getting colder, but we're, we're going to fucking fix for dupes. Nope. We're not, not today. We're not, mm -mm. We, we added delay and we got 108 this time. Oh no, that's was way bigger than that. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, it's 108. So 54 plus 54, right? It did it. It did it. It did it the wrong fucking way. It did it. It fucking did it. Now I need to go, I need that shit to go the other way. So that's negative, goddamn 54. Let's do positive 54, this bitch. This this better fucking work, because that's the opposite direction, nigga. There's plus and minus. Ain't no what is this? Quantum entanglement with my fucking sound card, bitch? Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? It short it shortened it. It shortened it to goddamn 53. What the, where, where are these numbers coming from? Where, where is it doing its maths? So what is 54 plus 50, it's 107. So it's 108 the other direction, nigga? What are we talking about? Because if I take this 108 and I remove it from 104, it should have been zero to begin with. What are we talking about, Fruity Loops? That's why the drum sounds small in this program, bro. It don't do maths. That's why the drum sounds small, is the maths is wrong. The maths is wrong. The, the maths in Fruity Loops is wrong, bro. That's it. That, that that's all I gotta say about that. The math is wrong, for sure. It gave me the original number by doubling the number I had. It it just it's it just wants to fucking have a fifty three latency. It doesn't matter what number I typed, where I added it, where I subtracted it, double it or nothing. I can double that number. I can add latency to that number, but I can't subtract that number. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. I Listen, I learned this shit in high school, bro. I don't know what's going on here, bro. This, the, the, you see what I'm saying? You, you guys, you get it now? You fucking get it. You fucking get it. This shit don't work. This, this shit is a suggestion box. This shit is an idea. This shit is part of the zeitgeist. But anyway, even with that being said, right? Even though that you can't just do the math on this and type in a fixed value and not worry about it ever again, in Fruity Loops, Fiori, and you guys, that'll never fucking happen until the next update. Let's talk about it. Until the next update. All right. We're going to have to wait until the next update on that shit, but we don't have to wait to use our hardware. So Fruity Loops has this cool little function right here, down here at the bottom. If you right click on the magnet, do snap to zero crossing. This way, when I click on the left, I can click in these regions and it'll only snap to a perfect crossfade area. So when you loop this drum loop, it'll be perfect. Get it as close to the transient as possible. That's zero crossing. Now I have to go to the next zero crossing, which is going to um, interact with the tail of the next kick. Mind you, this is a loop. So we're cutting, when you're cutting from hardware, make sure you're cutting to loop or make sure you have enough material to loop. This is going to fuck you and your synthesizers with, with pads that have delays and reverbs because that tail is going to be at the end of your loop and you're going to use it for the beginning of something and it's going to sound fucked up. So what you're gonna have to get in the habit of doing is, when you're using hardware at least, do the whole sequence. You're gonna have to record the whole sequence. Um, so when it starts, there's no reverb and delay at the beginning of your piano or pad. And then when it ends, you know, there's reverb and delay, you can fade it out. But you don't have to worry about it looping, is what I'm saying, for pads and stuff. For drums and stuff, it's be transient stuff, you can almost always get it perfectly. We gotta figure out, God damn it, Freddy Loops, you know I was going from left to right, right? Like, what the fuck would you put the left marker there, dumb bitch? Anyway, so we zoom in, find a zero crossing on the left side. It won't move too much. See how, like, I can't pull it back further? That's the zero crossing on that side to the, to the beginning of the kick. And I had to go back to the left again and find a zero crossing. Come on, bitch. Right here. Which I know is before the transient begins. Then I right click, edit, trim. And then you can test it out. You can get rid of this marker now, which is inserted by the mechanism of record on play. And just loop this shit. It loops perfectly. That's the hardware version of my loop. Now I can take that and drag it into my playlist. You feel me? And you build your beat or your whatever, your loop, your project, whatever the fuck you were doing with hardware, whatever you got that goddamn hardware for, it's right here. Now, what I can do is compare the two. 
Here's pattern one versus pattern two. And what I have to do to disable the hardware chain is go back to my bus right here and turn off output to none. And then take the output off the fader and send it back to the master track. I'm gonna go to song mode. That's the original. That's the hardware version. The difference is really in the highs. There's a level difference, but it's in the, like, it's in the background. Like it's, it's and Fruit Loops is all the way to the back. It makes everything tiny. Just like, just like some of your favorite sample pack creators and Twitch streamers all of a sudden. There's no sound difference in that. Yeah, bitch, there is. The kick is more solid. So they're going to, so they're going to want you to game match it, and we'll try to game match it. It's almost impossible because my hardware adds a uh, RMS. We could peak match it, but RMS matching it will be a dummy mission. So let's see. This is peaking at three. Right under three. Matter of fact, the Zulu loop is less. It's peaking at six. The Zulu loop is less peak, but is louder. How the fuck did that happen? We know the answer to that. See, it's going over to three. But the Zulu is lesser going to six. Let's talk about it. That's embarrassing. Yeah, it's louder. I bet you this bitch is calculating the delay. It is, ca now it's calculating the goddamn delay. Stupid bitch. Oh, this, this program is pissing me off, bro. It was calculating the delay. It was doing the delay, bro. It was fucking delaying it, man. And then it still doesn't. Edison still is like, I don't give a fuck what you typed in there, nigga. You think you special? You fucking think you special, nigga? No, I do, you know. But that flanging sound is because they're lined up now. That is because the processing on the, 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 the processing changed the shape of the waveform. So it'll get louder, but then it'll start flanging a little bit because there's a something different on your process. And that's the way you test it. And you match it, game match it. So this is touching three now. They're about the same. Same level match, DD match, not RMS match. And this is cleaner, stronger, doper. That's why we get hardware. You get it? That's why you get hardware. That shit is different. That shit's a record. That's a loop that's going to go on a free pack as somebody's read it. You hear what I'm saying? And the reverb is in there too. And that's the most important thing. You'll notice with the reverb being processed to it, it's, it's one more cohesive family. When the reverb is outside the matrix, it's kind of like, I can't explain it. It's just trash. Is what it, the word is trash is what I'm looking for. Craftmaster says it sounds the same as the software to 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 be honest. <laughs> oh man, Craftmaster got the little ears. The hardware version is breathing. Don Trail, you got it. What's good, Isabella? Z High German. What's good, AT Den? It's Fugazi, it is. Isabella, read Av's comment. I don't have an Av's comment, do I? Use on input instead of on play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean to record it without the markers? Yeah, but I still have to trim it. Uh, all I was trying to fix, Av, was if Fruity Loops could delay the input of this, de of if it could calculate the fucking delay difference so that when I record anything, it just starts on record. Like, like goddamn, right there at the beginning. It's not the Edison mechanism. Mechanism on whatever 
you still have to loop it manually. On the play, like I'll show you what, why I use on play. We need a different example. On play is lit. On play is for people who uh, who track out Omnisphere. I don't know if y'all knew that. I grew I grew up shooting in the gym, so a lot of y'all pretend like y'all you use Fruity Loops and y'all didn't. I could tell. I could tell y'all niggas want to use 11 to be cool, but I had to use 11 painfully. Omnisphere. So Omnisphere used to be a, a Ram hog. Now on this computer, Omnisphere is just slow because I didn't put a thousand gigs of sounds on my hard drive. And I should have. I should have. If I was going to use Omnisphere seriously, I should have installed its factory shit on this drive. Instead, it's on a 7200 7, RPM glyph that isn't made for that. Anyway. You see what I'm saying? That little hezzy at the end? Oh, that, that'd be novel if my fucking MIDI controller worked. Holy shit, guys. And what's causing this problem, if you ever have USB problems, is a USB hub. When your Mac goes to sleep or whatever, it stops talking to your hub. So you have to turn your hub on again. And sometimes even that doesn't work. Sometimes you have to unplug the USB hub. Guess what happens when you unplug the USB hub? You unplug everything connected to the fucking USB hub. In my case, my mouse and my keyboard. So if that one day decides not to work, I'm fucked. Just throwing that out there. Mac, add more inputs to your goddamn motherboard. Anyway. There we go. Cool. It's decent, but that extra preview ready shit is slow on, off of an external drive. Omnisphere is made for the primary drive, bro. It's, de it's decent. It should be faster, though. Let's, let's record something let's record something sexy like that real quick you feel me bitch what are you doing why are you doing the, why are you doing the triple take recording when that starts to happen that's because one of your channels have this yellow thing turned on right here fuck out of here your delay hold on does your delay compensation work like that Does your delay compensation work like that, sir? Because what it's doing is when that's an act, when this little red dot is active, it's recording it each time into your uh, playlist. I bet you that's how they have it working. I bet you it's ignoring this and it's going straight to the mixer. That would piss me off so bad, bro. I'm not in the business to give a fuck right now, though. I have other DAWs. Some of you don't. Some of you have to experiment with that all night. And then you have people on the forums who are a bunch of nerds who use tracker music tell you how it really works. And I'm not going to feel that at all. Anyway. All right. So let's take this. What the fuck? All right. So it should stop loop recording now. What was that chord I was playing? Son of a bitch. Oh, am I telling you to cut off at one bar, bitch? Like, what the fuck is that? What is, what is What in the God's name of fucking NA education is this? Back in the day, when you said it to uh that, like to null, it'll just keep going. Right now, it's acting like it's set to 16. Like the fuck? I didn't act. Man, bro. Bro. Fruity Loops. Come on, guys. Let's get this shit together, bro. One more time for the one time. That, that, and that's still too short. I go to 64. Son of a bitch. You can do it in song mode, too. Song mode is agnostic, too. Matter of fact, let's just do it right. Let's set this to song mode. Let's put an empty clip there. It's going to loop this region on song. That's fucking bitch. So the reason why you use on play in Edison is so that when your computer's RAM is blowing up, you, you route atmosphere to a channel. You name the clip what it was, so you don't forget when you open this up to track it out. Then you go into Edison, miscellaneous Edison, and you do you do record on play instead of input in this instance. So when you hit song mode, it's a loop. What that'll allow you to do is, is keeping track of your takes of how many times it loops around. But if you're doing automation or filter adjustment or you got a Kai Mini and you got the knobs routed, you can just fuck with it while it's recording the for the audio 
And when you find out which take, because these are now takes, this is take one, take two. They call it song jump. They should have put a code in there that calls it take one, take two. But depending on which take you like best, it doesn't matter because in this case, I didn't change anything. So I could just drag out any of them. And now they're a perfect loop. It'll loop perfectly because it's recording between the distance of song mode. Over and over and over again. Now I got the audio file. Now I can uh, disable or remove Omnisphere. I want to remove it, but you can disable Omnisphere from sending out signal or whatever. There's a way to freeze it or some bullshit. And then you arrange your song with the audio version of what you just played. And then of course with the audio version, you can do other shit that you can't do in a VSC. In fact, I challenge you to always do this in general because your plugins process the audio better than they do the VST. I don't need decap and nobody to tell me it doesn't when it's clear that it does. But a lot of times we be tripping out on how our plugins sound or behave or we're doing something wrong. It's because the professionals are mixing audio. We're trying to do the calculations through atmosphere calculations through waves calculations through the mixer when the audio is just like, man, and cool things you could do with it once you have the audio goes as follows. I can then um, speed this bitch up, bro. Matter of fact, nah, I can time stretch now. You can't time stretch Omnisphere. I think FL did add time stretch to MIDI, didn't they? You can resize MIDI. But it's not the same thing as time stretch. So now I can time stretch this bitch. Another cool thing that Fru Fruity Loops does if you set this to stretch, I think, resample, no, resample, right? If I set the loop that I created to resample and I speed up my beat to like 180, which is closer to 90 or so, it changes the pitch. You see how my other loops are breaking? The loop I just did don't break. So you get to find, you use this technique to find out where the loop sounds best. Like, does it sound good like that? Or does it sound good like this? It's like a turntable. So it sounds like you're micro tuning it. It makes it sound, dare I say, more ethnic. Dare I say like Trapanese. Oh boy, we're giving up the real gems today. None of that bullshit hardware giveaways the other guys do. None of my goddamn business. Let's talk about it. Now you can put halftime on it because I double timed it now i'm going to half time it and it's going to be put back into regular time and now that's in back in fucking regular time it's all stretch and warble it's going to sound silky smooth let's talk about it let's talk about the wins and whys niggas let's not making these tutorials acting like we know why we do this because you're copying my old videos let's talk about it And that's how you do it, man. That's why you do it. That's why you do this. You feel me? It'd be a shame if these uh, if these actually worked. Hey, 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 hey. I have reverbs, bro, but they're not here. Time to reverb, bro. Let's talk about it too. While we're here, let's talk about it. That boy, nice. That boy went to Harvard. That 
boy nice. You ain't got to tell me twice, I know. Really? small again because I'm in Fruit Loops. But you get the fucking point. That's why you... What's good, Olivia? You should always convert the audio mainly to future-proof your sessions. I have countless of beats where the VSCs no longer work. Rudy Rhythms. These are facts. It's like Castlevania vibes. You talking about my mom again? talking about the hell y'all be talking about i don't know what y'all be talking about sometimes i'll be trying to follow i can't follow the chat once the orange goes away august i don't have an august folder I hate to see it this is the 20th time i have made this folder mm. no 18th time i have made an august beat folder 18 times let's talk about it Let's talk about it. This is called the hardware route. Let's export the beat called the hardware route. FL Studio, you, when you make all those audio files and you bounce everything through Edison like I've been doing, your zip will zip all the WAV files. So when you go back to this project later and you don't have free loops no more, you unzip the zip files and you have all your loops still. I'm going to show you an example of that, which is like one of my favorite things about FL Studio. Other DAWs, you have to tell it explicitly to do that. Like Ableton, I didn't know you're supposed to create a master folder in your desktop and save all your projects into those master folders and then tell it to pack containing folder with files. So like you can have a whole season of Ableton projects and all the samples will be there. I didn't know that's how people did it, but that's how people do it. I was making a new Ableton project folder for every last single beat and it's annoying. But if I go back to old school FL Studio, like, uh, we'll go to orchestra sample, this joint right here. This is a classic. 
that's some Fruity Loops 3.4 drums. You see how the FL 3.4 sound engine was killing it. So now if I double click on that, I'll get a folder within a folder and I can find that sample that I use. And it was cool enough, the metadata is still there. So now I know, so now I know like if I needed to clear the sample, I could for that one. I have other shit that I chopped up that don't, it's not that nice. We have the old school Dre piano sample if I needed it. You feel me? I have the old school DDE hi-hat if I need it. You feel me? I can't hear those either. The Dre snare, the Dre kick, Dre snare. Dre piano and the sample itself and that's how you get bangers like this you see how short that sample is right <laughs> that's funny remember they used to talk about like they only had three seconds of sample time Imagine having three seconds of a sample on a goddamn computer. It don't make no goddamn sense. But that's how we used to make beats back then. On the computer. We're doing the old school way on the computer, which is the funniest shit. And y'all niggas get the whole fucking song in Ableton with the warp markers and the fucking metronome going. Fucking, fucking soft. That's why these kids be making these soft ass beats. <clears throat> Thought he was playing the Pootie Tang samples. <laughs> CMP, why you just donate? I heard turn down $1 million for 69. You said it's the August Alcina beat folder, pause. Rudy Rhythms, August. Entanglement folder. <laughs> what are my Cubase projects? That'll make your head hurt. <laughs> when did Ableton come into my life? Reason. There we go. Reason. We had more sample time. And I had Dr. Rex. Dr. Recycle. That boy was nice. I don't know where that kid is. But he should have signed a long time ago. Yeah, I used to, I used to say, I used to save my my shit like that. I used to organize it myself. So like in this folder, I have the date, the project file, and the original sample. And you notice, I named it Perfect Loop, although it's not a perfect loop. But what I was saying is. When I was naming my files, whoa, whoa, bitch, slow down. There's no metadata, so I don't know who this is. But I know where to find it because it says dust mites, so it's part of my dust mites folder. Haru, you say you're right, we're soft. No, that's all good, Haru. But what that sample doesn't have is the rest of these instruments. Smooth as shit. But anyway, that was in 2006. That was 14 years ago. Some of y'all niggas was watching Barney when I made that. Let's think think about how crazy that is. Think about how crazy that is. You go ahead and subtract your some, some time off your age. So go ahead and subtract 15 years off of how old you are. Think about how old you were. That's crazy. I don't see my I don't see my goddamn reason. My uh my goddamn uh I don't see my goddamn egg on uh what's that shit called? Cubase. It's fucking Cubase I was looking for. 
The Cubase beats were the ones I sold the most, which is funny. The ones that gave me the biggest headache to make and I just stopped doing were the ones that I sold. I sold them fast, fam. I sold a lot of Cubase beats and I just didn't stick to it because I'm a fucking idiot. Don't be like me when you grow up. Use the shit that works and you'll know it's working because the money will start coming. All righty. Yeah, reason in Cubase, I should have just stuck till till Atlanta took over. And I did not. I wasted a lot of time learning how to do all this dumb shit I made a channel about. Oh, this nigga went into the crates. This nigga went back to 2000 goddamn four. Let's talk about it. Why don't we use a different time signature to make beats in? Because we already fucking did that. I don't know where the fuck my Cubase beats go. I see the file, but I don't see the save file. I can't tell what they are. There's too many folders. My eyes are like, eh. So you understand why I make Trapanese. It's in here somewhere. I'm about to fucking find. It's in this somewhere. I can't see it though. Or it might be 2005. I might be capping because I got my motif at the end of 2004. Yeah, I should have fucking motif beats all over through this bitch. I didn't know how to play music though, so not really. Picture me. I barely knew how to do a C minor chord and I bought a JV1010, a Yamaha motif, and a cork Triton all in one go. That's how sick, that's how dead ass I was about this becoming my life. Like, man, mind you, I just graduated high school. I graduated high school and bought all that shit. I didn't buy a car. I didn't travel the world. I fucking bought music gear and been making music ever since. Where the fuck is the, come on, dog. I don't even know what the shits are called no more. It gets bad when you have so many beats, you forget what the beats are. And I don't like that. I don't like that way that fucking feels, to be honest with you. I used to know all these by name. Like, I could read the name of it and know exactly how it sounds. I still do to some extent. But I can't tell you no nothing of what I made in January, it sounds like. Only when I'm on YouTube. The stuff I make on YouTube doesn't go into long-term memory. I'll forget that I did it. The stuff I make when I'm not on YouTube, I remember forever. That's how I know it's two different me's. It's two different, two different things I'm going through. Even that dumb shit I just made like 10 minutes ago, I'm not going to remember I did that. Because I wasn't trying to. I only remember what I try. Does that make sense? There's, there's a goddamn message in what I just said. Y'all better fucking be paying attention. Shitting your diaper. <laughs> ah, the young heads. Yo, I can't find this beat. I'm being pissed. Where the fuck are you, bro? There we go. There we go. That's the year. It's 2004. Like I fucking thought. Who the fuck was this at? These are old as shit, Nixon. <laughs> Rudy Rudu says, online he's MG the future, offline he's MG the moment. Yo. This is Cubase reason and the motif. It's a bitch to do. 
Hold on, before I play it, before I play it, the whole reason me going to this folder is to show you how, how fucking trash it is. Because I think I lost it. These are the peak images that you bring into uh, Cubase back in the day. And you know how like uh, Pro Tools has a left leaf and right leaf? So did Cubase. So Keys 1 is left and right leaf. Lead Sax was mono. Synth was left and right leaf, etc. right? You had to remember how to do that dumb shit. Oh, that might be a sample pack coming out Friday, baby. So my mix, because I was stupid back then and no one was teaching me anything, I made thing, all my instruments from the Moti for stereo. Because I was getting frustrated, I picked one of the leaves for some of them. So I ended up with mono, a lot of mono stems. And then that mono, that going between stereo and mono in certain tracks actually gives you a better stereo image. So everything's not competing left and right. Does that make sense? So I did that uh, haphazardly. And as an older guy doing it again, going back to this workflow, now I get it. I was like, oh, I don't need everything to go through three and four. I can have a lot of shit just go through three and process it one way and then go through four and process it a different way. But I'm the type of guy to go, fuck all that. I'm just gonna buy me a 500 series rack that's mono and process mono shit through a mono channel. But we'll get to it. We'll get there. We'll get there before my birthday, before I turn 35. Let's talk about it. That's how deep I got on my motif in 2004. I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I don't feel like I play better then than I do now. Let's talk about it. But it's so crystal clear and so beautiful. songs to that beat finished projects doesn't exist doesn't fucking exist i didn't finish no projects back then let's cut it out yeah man if i would have stuck to something back then i'd have been i'd have been out of here bro you know mg made another one i didn't stick to shit though i didn't stick to my motif i didn't stick to the npc i didn't stick to Nothing. I didn't have an NPC. What the fuck am I talking about? The SP-303. I didn't stick to none of it. I just kept doing shit. I kept... You know what happened with me? Like, why I'm able... Like, my, my brain connects. The, you know, the words connect or the sounds connect thing. is because I was chasing everything. Like, I didn't... Like, when people used to post stuff like, uh, you know, you got to find your own sound. I'd be like, nigga, no. I don't want my own sound. I want everybody's sound. Because in my head, I really thought that an artist would come to me and be like, put me on the spot and like ask for something I couldn't do. And then I wouldn't do the record or I wouldn't have the job or wouldn't make the money because what I've learned, like this isn't conscious. This is unconscious. What I realized as a young kid that yo, the reason why the hit makers got the number one song on radio 
But the reason why Timbaland can get like, you know, the two or three singles is because these other niggas who only do one thing, their one thing isn't that hot. Not that it was bad, not that it wasn't good music, but it wasn't what was hot. And I never wanted to be pigeonholed to be a B-side person. I never wanted to be pigeonholed just to be the nostalgia guy. I never wanted to be the lo-fi guy. I wanted to be like, yo, we have a budget to make a hit record. I want to be the hit record guy. And when we have the one hit record guy, I want to do the other 15 tracks too. Like, oh, you need an R&B joint? Cool, got that. You want a ballad? Oh, cool, got that. Oh, some electro slash house EDM? Oh, you got that. I wanted to do all of it. I didn't want to be the, you know, 45 King with the, you know, sitting in with my SP-1200 only. I'm not shitting on that. What I'm saying is I had a computer. I had drum kits. I had VSCs. I had everything. What's the point of having every fucking thing just to do four bar beats? And that's different. That's a big difference that I see between myself and a lot of other people. A lot of other people spec. They become subject matter experts. And I'm like, I don't want to be a subject matter expert. I want to be a matter expert. I want to, be a, I want, I want to know about all of it. I want to do all of it. I want you to go like, oh, that sounds like MG The Future, and then go to another one that's something totally different and be like, ah, that sounds like MG The Future, and be like, yo, he does house? I didn't know, why is this nigga doing house music? I know this nigga do house music. Exactly. I thought that was the goal. Because around the same time, that's when we had the uh, Limp Biscuit and Linkin Park reanimated records, where they did the hip-hop shit on there. I was like, oh, my nigga. Nigga, have you heard Timbaland's Rearranged Remix? Back then, I thought Timberland could play instruments. I didn't know he didn't play those instruments. But thankfully, I didn't know. Because because I thought Timberland could play those instruments, I wanted to learn how to play those instruments. Same thing with Pharrell and them and, and the shit that they did on that. I was like, oh, shit, nigga, it's time to go. I need to learn these chords, baby. Because I'm not doing that unless I know these chords. Hence, chord book. Let's talk about it. Da, 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 da. 2007 was so dark. Fuck 2007. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, boy. Then you the same. I was. I'm still the same way. Chukabelli. Yeah. Isabella said she had the same ambitions. Yeah, man. Game wise, I just had my first kid. Congratulations. You say you can't wait to teach him new music. Where's the old MG, the rapper tracks? No, sir. Relax. What's good, Rob Reyes? More sight beats? Yo, relax. I'll tell you that.
had 16 bars on a trap song, they need to fucking relax. Yo. God damn. I'm so glad we don't make beats like that no more. That wasn't my that wasn't my funnest phase. I should have quit then. A lot of my friends quit in 2008. A lot of them. 2008 made a whole bunch of people stop making music. Real talk. Nexus. I, I can hear the fucking hyper saw about to come. Shit was fly, bro. Once, once we got past, you're like that, that. That's what it was. That era right before Drake came. That was the dark ages. That was the dark ages of production. Everybody was in the box. Everybody had Omnisphere, Nexus, fucking shit up too. Once I had Omnisphere, Nexus together, I was, I was out of here. I didn't use no other VSC for the rest of that, for that next three to four years until I bought a machine. So from like 2008 to 2012, it was just Omnisphere, Nexus, Omnisphere, Nexus. And then sometimes I use some kind of bootleg contact bank and sometimes I use FM8, but nah, give me Omnisphere, give me Nexus. I'm fucking out of here, bro. And I was out of here. Matter of fact, when I made up my mind that that's what I was going to do, that's when I did all the records. That's when like my uncle and them were rocking with me hard. That's when I met all the billionaires or not billionaires, but millionaires. I met a lot of millionaire people talking about starting labels and stuff and people trying to put their kids on and shit. Um, people were trying to open up studios. So when I went to the most studios, that's when I just came back from Atlanta. That's when um, so many, not broken promises because, you know, everything's pontification at the end of the day until someone cuts you a check. I had people cut me checks. I had people talking to me about opening up their studio and then cut me a check for making their website. Like a lot of that shit happened. Like, you know, they say like God works in mysterious ways. A lot of God worked in mysterious ways in order to allow me to interact with what would be the music industry. And then the more I interacted with it, the more I didn't want to be part of it. I didn't, I didn't really like it. I didn't like it and during that time. During the time that I was closest to it, I didn't like it. I didn't like the people too much. I didn't like the games. I didn't like... Uh, what the thing I didn't like most is that knowing how dope I was, that I could do anything, and talking to people who didn't know what they wanted. That used to frustrate me. It used to frustrate me that these people are supposed to be producers and engineers and artists, A&Rs and &Rs and stuff, and they'd be like, all right, so what do you want? So a regular person who only makes one kind of beat, you know, because remember, I'm still in, in that mental programming from 2002, 3, and 4. Like, yeah, I know a lot of niggas just make one kind of beat on their NPC 1000 and XV 5050, but I'm not that nigga. And I don't know if you notice... But I have every fucking plugin that exists on this planet at this moment. I can make you anything. Real talk. Um, and I, it, that wasn't part of the zeitgeist. That wasn't normal. That wasn't what was happening. Um, what was happening was what ended up becoming Lex Luger. You know, a kid on his laptop with the sound fonts making hard ass drums. And just send me 20 of those because they all sound the same. And we'll figure out, you know, they're all 140 beats per minute. They're all in the same uh, diatonic key and... We'll let the rapper figure it out. If I had known what I was supposed to do was just send everything I made up until that point, I think things would have went a little different. But my dumb ass wanted to make everything for everybody. Like, bro, there's not too many songs I recorded in my house where I didn't make the beat first. Like, all the shit that I recorded, like where I practiced recording with a microphone and fans and soundproofing and shit, I made all those beats on the spot. I produced. I didn't, I didn't record. 
I didn't beat make, I produced records. I wanted to be a music producer. I didn't want to be a beat maker or a pianist or a guitar player or the nigga who knows how to hook up everything. I wanted to be all of it. That's what I thought the word meant. That's not what the word means. Obviously, obviously I overqualified myself, but you know, I don't, I don't regret it at all. Cause at any other point in time, when I do get enough money, I can help somebody else get put on still, you know, it doesn't stop cause I'm gonna be 35. It's not going to stop when I'm 40. It's just, you look back on it. You'd be like, ah, that's why, you know, stupid ass me. <laughs> that's my dumb ass fault. Facts. I, I, I believed in them. I believe a, I believe them and B I believed in people more than I should have. I believed in the magic more and it wasn't magic. It was lies. It's deception. It was, it was marketing. I believed in the marketing and, and believing in that marketing was a positive thing. Cause it made me who I am. Let's talk about it. It's not a longevity thing. It's a marketing thing. It doesn't, it's, no one has a 10 year career. No one has a five month career. That's color tone. Color tone improves. SSL impulses. They weren't the high. They weren't the best thing smoking, but they. in my mind, mind, I look for peace, but see, I don't attain, what I need for keeps, this silly game we play, play, now look at this, madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me, that's, uh, I that's try to run, but see, I'm not that I fast, I play a chord, and I'm just here to chop, you can't hear it though, it sounds like an organ, oh, oh, Rory, it's not Rory, it's the chops, the lonely stone is about to the free as mine at night. Like a, like a sweet old game. alone through the day and night. Day and night, day and night. The lonely loner seems the free as mine at night. Those are some Melda reverbs, I think. At night. Or wave back. Day night. The lonely stone seems the free as mine at night. He's all alone, some things will never change. The lonely loner seems the free as mine at night. At night. Hold the phone. The Lonely Stoner, Mr. Solo Dolo. Yeah, it's day and night. They'll probably cancel this part of the video by tomorrow night. night. Nexus. I told you, I told y'all earlier this year, Nexus, Nexus is what you use for hits, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody's talking about. I don't even think that changed. I think you still you would still use you'd still use Nexus for hits. Nexus is like the cheat code. Like y'all niggas wanna goddamn use Arteria to make what? Loops for kids on Reddit? Y'all better wake the fuck up out here. Yeah, nobody give a fuck about that dumb shit. Hold on. Where is uh, bullshit. That was way back. That was way back. Hold on. That one, we didn't get this far in a year. Hold on. I forget. I got two different folders. I got folders for like people who sent me stuff and like this stuff. This is like a whole album I've recorded in a week. So I'm like, I confuse myself because then I have another folder called studio sessions where I try to do better at differentiating the shit that I was recording. And as you can see, I was a busy person. Oh, you can spend the night. We can get it in if we slide to my residence. Burn White House like the president. Mango send it in. Neutralized like the Jesses did. No confusing with these other niggas. Best believe I do it big. 
Ghost, you could call me miraculous Cause when I move, I don't move like these amateurs Use all these cameras, they just want a temperature Handle you like a ball player from Los Angeles Girl, you're scandalous, you got no shame Spend the night with the kid, you gon' know my name Get that thing from the back, knocking out your frame Show Yeah, a lot of, a lot of that this whole project I, had, I made from scratch for them. With the kid, you gon' know my you name. Can, you can spend the night. With the kid, you gon' know my you name. Can, you read my name. Read gon' know my you name. Can, you can spend the night. With the kid, you gon' know my name. You, you can spend the night. With the kid, you gon' know my name. And what I'm saying is, like, I bit, I produced everything in a different style. It wasn't the same person. It was like, everything's different. Come on, I did I did this in, my, in, in a one bedroom apartment with a goddamn box fan in front of a broken, a dying Pentium 4 with goddamn sheets in the closet on a Studio Projects B1 microphone with goddamn, man, like I'm saying, bro, it's just different. I thought, I thought, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was doing it. I did it. For real, for real. All of it. Baby, just pull it. All the genres, bro. What are we talking about? Baby, open up, and I'm what are we talking about, tonight. bro? You hear this? Do you hear the piano playing in the background? Right. That's Tommy D, by the way. Treat my body like a gas station. Pull up to the pump and let me feel you up and down. Treat my body like a gas station. When I fill you up, it's premium and plus uh -huh. I wanna fill We had to write these songs too. I wanna fill you up, I wanna fill you up tonight. So pull up to the pump, so pull up to the pump, so pull up to the pump tonight. Come in, girl, you don't have to pay. I'll serve you, baby, there's no way. Listen to the words, though. Nah, bro. These niggas all doing it like me. Now I'm 22 years old. Remember, I was 22, 23 when I did this. Mm -hmm. I said all the styles. I want to make sure I can do everything. Because I can do every fucking thing, bro. What are you talking about? I sample myself. What are we talking about? What are you talking about? The remix? We didn't even get the first song out. We already got the remix. What are we talking about, bro? That's the type of, that's the type of producer I wanted to be. I don't know what else niggas is doing today, these days. What are we talking about? Where it gets wild. I'ma put it in. You know what's the most amusing part about doing all those songs? I did it with four gigabytes of RAM. I, in my mind, I'm playing that how much struggle it was not to get my computer to shut down. Because when the um, Pentium 4 chip uh, overheats, it'll shut your computer off. So my computer was dying. 
So we put a real Walmart box fan with dust bunnies and shit blowing into a side of an open computer to make sure that the fan didn't shut down every time we hit the record button. And I, my dumbass is using Omnisphere and Nexus. Four gigabytes of RAM using Omnisphere and Nexus. That's why everything is dubbed through Edison the audio. That's why I was showing that. Everything was loaded. So it's like, bruh, come on, man. We got people who got everything in their room, everything in their studio, and they can't, they can't, mm -mm. they can't do that. Mm -mm. No, sir. Ain't got a real blaze that I fuck with Super Dan. Yeah. MG, yeah, my nigga makes the beat the bang. G stacks, sunny Mac, and he back in the game. Ace Bull freestyling, but the shit ain't changed. Yeah. Got the belly and he rolling it up. Nate, got the ops, keep his rolling like fuck. P.I. got the hose in the truck. Hey, just still riding for us. You sure don't wanna collide with us? My nigga Rob, big enough to slide your bus. And everybody got pistols, cut it ride with us. From Archie down. I'm yeah. back. Rocks and go shot with the uh -huh. East Coast to the West Coast. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, yo, Welcome to my city. Where niggas keep flags and bust legs. West side, you know, cop where we at. Welcome to my city. Where niggas smoking California bud in the club. Showing California love. Welcome to my city. Yup, see yo, when PT yo. Welcome to my city. Yup, see yo, when PT yo. Welcome to my city. Yup, see yo, when PT yo. West side. Red chucks in my dicky suit Looking right, look like a raptor when I keep it night That's just a baby eagle shine so bright T-Rex won't lose a fight That's just a tech, lay your bed just right Lay your flat like an octagon I dismantle my enemies Transform to a dizzy rhyme Did it tell to the dentist you came up with this I'm the realest, see the boss Do you wanna fuck with this? If so, bring a clip I'm blur, I'ma bring clips Got guns, make it do backflips On some Michael Jackson shit Niggas can't fuck with this West side in this bitch, Riley. Riley. Fuck with the homies, got them extra clips. Rushing five, banging, banging. Had your mama looking six. Had your mama see me shaking on the seven, feeling jealous. Cause I'm stealing bullets to your crib, now she helpless. Playing with the killer, killer gorilla. On my thriller shit, Michael Jackson breaking nigga neck quick. Real shit, West side in this bitch. To the south side, making money, flipping them bricks. Getting whopping, getting fresh to the head, to my tippy toes. Baby girl, wanna do my break corn rolls. But I'm fresh, stay fresh all day. West side, popping bottles in the club all day. So, woo, <laughs> woo, woo. Yo, he, he got woo, woo. He got locked up two weeks later. I recorded this with that young man. Compton was short. Compton was like four foot 11. He's in medium man gang. He's with a. He's with AD committing, y'all niggas. Compton was just came from uh from Compton. He had just came from California. I think he said like his grandmother died or something. He had an inheritance, whatever, bought a car, drove to the South. I guess things were hot. And then he said he wanted to rap. He said he wanted to turn his life around and rap. And I told him that night, after we did that verse, that's the reason why everything sounds so muffled, because that's the first thing I recorded with them, with all of them. It's the first thing I ever recorded with them in that space. And um, I think I was uh, peaking my Yamaha mixer. I didn't have the uh, soundproofing and stuff. In fact, I think the micro they're probably rapping into the microphone sideways. Or something was really fucked up about it. But the energy was still there. And I was like, cool, I'll work with y'all. And I just had this deep conversation with him and talking to him about music, kind of music he likes and stuff. And like I said, every time you meet somebody who's going to do the work with you, um, I have mad artists like that. Like Compton was special. Like Super Dame is super talented. Super Dame's the one that's always rapping and singing and all these. But Compton, the one that was just rapping at the end right there, he was, he was, uh, he had it, though. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it was something else that he had. Come to find out what he had that was different was that spirit, that energy that was on him. Um, and he ended up getting locked up for a long time. You know, he was real. He was real, real. Like, too real. Too, too real. Because, you know, when you're shorter and you're smaller and people test you and stuff you got to overcompensate or you have to agree to do certain things or as they would call it back in the day go on certain missions and you can't punk out of it and say well i want to do music instead when you when you're locked in but that's the unfortunate part a lot of times proving yourself to be locked in gets you locked up and that's why i never really rocked with that rah rah shit like that because one i know no one's gonna go as hard as i go and then two I don't want to put my life in someone else's hands. I don't want, well, no, I don't want to be part in positions in life where I, where I subject myself to being, putting my life in someone else's hands. Like that's how you live. You live by, you live rolling those dice. I just can't do it. I'd rather sit home and be an old head and turn on my NPC. Real, real shit, real nigga shit. 
So it's not as easy as just turning your computer on. It's not as easy as just, you know, practicing. You got to deal with real life and real niggas at the same time. And I don't think anyone gets that. I'm glad y'all don't get to see me like that. I'm, I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm glad those Goonie boys were in my studio and not the other way around. Let's talk about it. That's the shit niggas don't talk about. When you see a nigga one day and the next week he's dead. When you see a nigga one day and the next day he's locked up on drug charges. When you see a nigga one day and everyone has a party and this kid that you've never seen before, he comes over and the next time you ask about him, he had a, a heroin overdose. Like that shit, like, you know, it might seem like that happens all the time, but that shit works on you as a creative person where you interact with transients. When you, when you interact with people who you like, yo, what is such and such about to come through? We got that song to finish, bro. He didn't finish his verse. Oh, yeah, man. You know, he got jammed up at such and such. That means your whole, your whole projection mentally of what that project was going to be and what that life was going to be is gone. Now, imagine that happening all the time, over and over and over again. Why, why, why haven't you put none of this stuff out? How come, you know, you didn't go harder than that? Half of these people got locked up. A lot of them are dead. What are we talking about? You don't control that. You control, you control if your microphone's peaking, but you don't control what happens when they leave that studio session. Let's talk about it. I don't think a lot of people know that. I don't think a lot of people record enough, especially beat makers and nerds and stuff. Y'all don't get to see the people. Y'all don't, y'all don't get to deal with the group of people. This is my favorite situation. When you're dealing with a group of different people and they don't get along over some bitch. That's my favorite one. Because all these niggas is max. All these niggas is pimps. All these niggas is pulling bitches. But the moment there's something about one particular bitch in general, it throws away the whole future of what they're working on. Let's talk about it. Huh? Yeah. Those are, that's awkward. Real shit, bro. Real shit. Too real. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Hate to see it. Hate to fucking see it, bro. Literally. Really hated to see it. <laughs> I really hated to see it, bro. I should have just did the Kanye West thing when 2008 hit. If I would have started rapping like Kanye in 2008, I would have been able to rap by now. That's what I should have did, but I didn't. You know what I'm saying? We out here getting money. Chukavelli says, I think I'm guilty. Yeah, man. I'm Mr. Belvedere. I see you niggas frontin'. And soon you yeah, niggas man. gonna be running when that shoddy's dumping. Been a jokes man, nigga, I'm about brand. When you was buying your clothes, I was getting guns instead. Real I shit. see you corny niggas riding on your rims. Red light, I prefer being older out, game nigga, ride your pen. I think we all do. What the fuck you thinking? Another you niggas Chappelle on the flash. The Mac 10 to have you pissing in a fucking bag. Don't play around, cause I'm the street's finest. Wrist so cold, the hood call me King Minus. Below zero, I should be your hero. I can do a few things, I got more than Nero. I go hard, push the pedal to the metal. Even the devil's scared, cause I'm on another level. I'm living good, you niggas wondering how. I'm from an era when the brick cost 20,000. Money. Hey, that's when that boy Wonder Drum Kid dropped. You couldn't tell me nothing. Couldn't tell me nothing when that boy Wonder Drum Kid came out. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing. I was like, oh shit, I'm stacking my snares five times. <laughs> that's funny. I have some other cooler songs, but I can't find them. They're not popping out. I don't think I organized this as be as good as I thought I did. And half of the fucking stems are missing because I didn't have the hard drive space on my old hard drive. So I just have the project file and the and the main buses, but I don't have the 
I don't have the acapellas to most of those, sadly. Because I can clean them up all now with RX-7 and fucking uh, Spectral Airs. Whatever. A lot. A lot, bro. It was a lot. That was a lot of shit. That was a lot of cool shit, bro. A lot of cool shit, bro. Bum, 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 bum. Well, how, well, how do you open up a, a WMA file on goddamn Mac? Star J. Yeah, man. Any other questions? I think that's pretty much it, man. Whatever happened to this kid? Someone took one of my instrumentals and did a skateboarding video. boys bro skater days let's talk about it let's talk about it sir that's at nc state i don't know what happened to travis though interesting thing about white boys though when they finish school or they finish summer you don't ever hear from them again <laughs> oh man windows media player for mac got it the guitar sample is fat fire Depending on others will never last. Great stream, great stream. Thank you guys. I think that's all I got. Two hours in. Um, I wanted to remake that WAP beat, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I might come back on later and do it though, because I don't have nothing to do today besides breathe. Breathe and stop for real and give it what you got. Uh huh, uh huh. But I'm gonna need a refresher. I need to reprogram my mind to do some ignorant shit. Cause that beat is very ignorant. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes. So they went from the New Orleans shit, you know, the uh, drag music. They went from drag music last year with Drake. How appropriate is that? Now they're going to the Baltimore club music and the Jersey and the step type music. There's some hoes in this house. You know, I always wanted to do that. I wanted that song that they were doing. I wanted to do it. I think Kanye would have done it by now. Kanye uses a lot of house records for his shit, but, uh, to hear there's some hoes in this house. And then they're walking through the hallway of the house where there was hoes in that house. I just think that was the most beautiful thing I've experienced this year musically. Because I'm not even mad at it. That's the type of nigga shit I like. If I'm on that vibration, if I'm on that spectrum. It makes so much sense. Like, there's nothing to talk about. There's no arguments there. Like, yeah, there are some hoes in that house. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. But the cool thing about, you know, if they're opening up that particular box of Pandora... There's so many other club songs and other acapellas and voices to use to do the same type of thing. Very similar to how I killed my fucking um, drag rap type beats. You don't know what I'm talking about? What is that shit? What is that genre called? I don't know what that genre is called. That's why I never remember that I did it. Like I said, when I do stuff on stream, I don't remember anymore. What is that shit called? Uh, what is that shit called? You know, like nice for what in them? The new, the new, the no, the no, Nolia bounce. That's what it's called. It's called bounce music. <laughs> no, this is the active folder, chief. Cut the shit. What really? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know when I tune into this shit? Y'all know when I run into this? Come on. What are we talking about?
Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That's supposed to be a hit already. It ain't go to the right people. But I was like, y'all here. That boy in the Ranger guy. Type of, that's the type of time we were supposed to be on this year. We didn't get a summer, so we didn't get to do that. We didn't we didn't have a summer thanks to Rona. We didn't get a chance to really do that. But I was on it. I was ready for it. I was ready for them to make that call. Like, yo. I sent it to a few people, but nothing happened. And that's fine. And it's okay. It couldn't have come out anyway. It couldn't have happened anyway. Not in this atmosphere. But I make the stallion and Cardi B want to do it. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm here for it, bitch. <clears throat> I like house music better than rap anyway. So. Juvie and Drake type B, let's talk about it. Waka, waka, wap, waka, wap. Mars, Mars, Mars. Game wise. Flames, MH. Shane says, that's my favorite by you. I, I know, I know. When I, when I push that button, man, when I get into my lower chakras, it's a rap, bro. Y'all meeting me out of my chakras. If y'all would have met me when I was still in my lower chakras, when I was with the shits for real, it'd be it, you wouldn't even recognize me. I got fat. You know what I'm talking about? I got fat and shit. If I if y'all met me when I wasn't big, y'all would have been like, yo, <laughs> who is this guy? This guy is different. He's still in here somewhere. We're, we're gonna get him out. We're gonna get him out by next summer. We're supposed to get him out this summer, but then they shut my gym, gym down. But y'all know. There'll be another time. So next time, guys. Peace. See you now when you 